Right. Yeah. Hi, darlings. So, yes. hi, darlings. So, to celebrate 420, I'm going to give you my secrets to how to roll the perfect spliff. People always. Um, fuck, man. I'm so high. I can't even speak. <laughs> All right. Take two. <coughs> Hi, darlings. You have me, Donatella, here for you. And to celebrate 420, I thought I'd do a rolling tutorial for you. Everywhere I go, people always say that I roll the best spliffs. So today, I'm going to bring you in on my secrets. So, firstly, you're going to need some really nice. <laughs> So firstly, you're going to need some really nice weed, my preference would be some OG Kush. All right. Um, now what you want to do is you want to grind up the weed as small as possible because then that way you're going to get a nice tight roll. If the weed's too big then you're not going to be able to roll it tight enough. So this is if you're rolling in paper. So. So you get yourself a good grinder. I don't use the plastic ones. I know good. You can come in, but quickly. I can't come in. But just quickly. <laughs> just quickly. Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. Oh. <laughs> You see that? No games. No games. And you can't eat those while we're shooting. Alright. <laughs> you want to make your filter because nobody likes to have weed in their mouth. So, I use half of one of the strips that come in the brown papers. These are my favourites. I split it in half. Then I start off the roll on this side. My thumb. Be it a circle, and then wrap it around and roll it. You want to get this like kind of small so that then no weed can get through it either. Alright, so here's the fun bit. When you're putting your weed inside your paper, you want to kind of be forming the shape already. So, start kind of making a cone shape from your weed. This is how I do it. There's no like right or wrong way to roll, okay? I'm just showing you how I do it before any stoners get mad. But I like to rub it between my fingers like this, squashing the weed down. And you will be able to see it. Like so you can watch your weed. Don't really worry too much about this end. The bit that you need to be holding tight is the end bit. So as long as you've got, you're holding your brooch nice and tight and you're good. This bit doesn't matter. When you can feel like it's tight enough, you need to pull down. Now this thumb, don't move it. You need to keep it nice and tough. You'll feel the roll. Use this finger, just, it doesn't even have to be tight. And then roll. Now once you've rolled, again, this bit, never too tight, roll it up, make yourself the nice cone shape already, and then my darlings, lick and stick. <laughs> this bit, take your time, kind of turn it as you go, you want to stick it all the way from the top, and just twist your spliff as you go. And there we go. Paper planes, yo. I like this so that all the weed can get to the bottom and then you can get it nice and tight. And then ideally you'd have something else. Pitchy. Use another filter. And then twist to the top. Here we go! Then you just have to light it and smoke it. I said that's perfect. Not too early, not too late. There you have it. 
My way of rolling perfect kind. Thank you.